Alright, alright, alright. I am back. <laughs> hey Mudakas, thanks for thanks for linking those clips there during the break. <laughs> I will drink the blood of my enemies. I guess it works in this game as well. The latest single, the Shampler song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have some uh, have some apples here. I have some trail mix. Keep me keep me well well fed. Hey there, Grimionis. Just in time for the part two of uh, solo necromancer lone wolf in tactician difficulty in divinity original sin 2 uh we have made our way to the level four which is a big milestone because we you get to the next tier of the skills so we are already pretty powerful we will get more powerful on level five and level six before we even escape this place i could already escape and it would be more efficient to actually already escape and come back if you want to do the fights but uh, for challenge sake and for just reasons um, we will do everything everything here before we escape so let's continue we just got ourselves the viper's tongue which we will actually use for quite some time because it's a very good plus one warfare weapon for our uh, for our necromancer Okay, actually, now that I'm also level four, I can I can finally finally do this. So by taking a short stick and this kind of a skull, the pointy kind, this uh, this creates a wand. Uh, luckily, I got the fire one I wanted because that will help me quite a bit when I fight uh, when I fight uh, turtles soon. While I remember, I will also make also make the block picks out of the nails. I will say a couple of nails for uh, boots. Boots later when we start to get into the. That is actually not bad. One point in Arthur might actually give me. I think the teleportation requires one. Okay. Then definitely want to wear this one because the Huntsman gives me a uh, little bit of points, uh, extra damage when I'm high, high up. I will hold on to this snakeskin armor. I might, I might want the plus one archer at some point. Not sure. Okay. Is there anything else here I can throw away? Um, I don't need 12 strengths, even that this is a better armor. I think I want to keep the... I want to keep my uh, Huntsman. Yeah, the plus 5... Plus 5 damage gives me... Gives me more overall damage than the strength for my character. So we are not going to use my Ghost Breast by then. Sell that for cash instead. Uh... Those need stuff, I will keep that. Keeping those for crafting. Yeah, I think that's fine. Don't want no short stick, man. Okay. If uh, if you go here and uh, use a shuffle, you will have some company. Because I have such a poor 
such a poor uh, what it's called uh, initiative. He actually goes first, so I would benefit a lot from finding um, finding um, some initiative uh, or wits wits gear. So, this one gives you 100 experience. Again, to maximize, maximize things. Okay, here's a relatively hidden thing, if you, don't, if you don't pay attention. If you look at the map, you can also from there get a little bit of hint. Uh, now that we are here, Kevin is, Kevin is actually coming for us, which is great. Uh, so, Kevin... Kevin told us that uh, he be, we could be escaping this place. This way, in the back. Follow me. We could es could be escaping this place uh, with him. Uh, he kind of helps me, but also screws me over. But uh, we know what he's up to, so we will actually actually get the better off, better deal here. Uh, Fane is here. Uh, I already stole Fane's stuff. Uh, Fane could. Uh, Killing the origin characters don't give you any experience. Uh, we will leave uh, Kevin here waiting for a while. If you pay attention, there's a... Uh, well, pay attention. If you are if you are observant enough, you can see that there's ornate chest there. And uh, whenever you see something like this, you can use the teleportation things to, uh, to get the stuff on you. Sometimes you can teleport yourself over, but usually this is a better way. Nice. Nice. Perfect boots. What did I say? <laughs> I just asked for initiative. Oh, uh, I love my luck. That is brilliant. That was exactly what I needed. 12, 12 initiative is already pretty good here in Fort Joy. Either, either initiative or wits and uh, just plain initiative is, is fine. <laughs> but on the other hand, that was the first item, first item that actually had like really useful stats for me. So I haven't been that lucky. You hear a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. If, if you call her uh, you warrior children, princess, a wide grin. Really? She will. Uh, yeah, warrior princess Coral. Coral. Oh, nice. You can um, this. She gives me a scroll outside. that I can sell. If you, if you are not a human, Where is she? You, you can uh, you can trick this lady. Are you from the shelter? Trick this lady another. here, then so you can. Uh, she is so late. You can uh, you can lie that you are you are sent by someone, the elf looks and ask ask, ask for supplies. And How if you do enough of this uh, evil stuff, you will get the villain tag, which is useful in in its own ways. You can also also steal that pouch. So it's not that, uh, not that big of a deal. But it's a nice looking pouch, so we like the pouch. <laughs> I love my luck, a man whose luck was just about to run out. So what is the goal of this game? Kill every NPC, develop evil necromancer, laugh. <laughs> uh, escape pretty much summed it up. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not a story playthrough, so that that is actually that is actually the goal. Well, kill kill a lot of NPCs and develop evil necromancer, laugh. I have to work on that. I haven't been. I'm I'm not in the level yet with my character that I can uh, I can start laughing the evil necromancer laugh, but I will I will work on that. I will work on that for sure. Uh, okay. Actually, using the wands here would make this make this easier. So I will actually temporarily. Temporarily wear Michael's breastplate so that I can have the plus strength one back, so I don't have to work with the mashed potatoes. Uh, 
Because this is just so much easier with fire. Uh, by the way, the Michael's breastplate looks uh, looks so funny with uh, with female characters. Like this this game is prime example of the silliness of the of the female armor in uh, in uh, CRPGs. Anyway, this place is dangerous. Why the game actually also saves here, but uh, not so much for us. These things are these things are weak to fire. So you can uh, you can take care of them from a very safe distance. Especially with uh Especially with um, okay. How do I actually? Let's let's do this. Stick take this turtle from here and actually pull these turtles with uh, pull these turtles with our friend. Our friend will die. Yeah, these that's that's why I'm that's why I'm using the wands. Because these these turtles are super dangerous if you are if you are a melee character. And I kinda am at, at this point even that I am uh, even that I am a necromancer. Okay, I actually didn't engage into the fight myself, interesting. Okay, that's that's one of the things I, I'm I'm still working on. I can't if I choose an action, I actually have to right click to get out of it. So that's why I'm at times actually opening the menu because I press ESC to cancel the cancel the command, but that's not working. Actually, want to uh, want to use the teleportation here a bit. I was hoping that would have happened first, but uh, so now, now it's actually good for me to uh, good for me to actually teleport away because this thing will explode. So I will, I will just get a little bit of a little bit of safe distance and uh, use the ones I have to deal with these guys. If if you go up close with these ones, that they are they are somewhat nasty. Uh, I don't really, don't really need the ones after this, so I can sell them. Uh, let's keep on wearing the Huntsman thing, and we don't need the Mycos. Mycos anymore after this. Basic attack is holding down control instead of clicking that. Ooh. Ooh, right. Because I, I knew the control, but I... I actually thought that was uh, like forcing attack on a peaceful character. That's thanks for that tip. As said, I have played this I have played this game on Switch for Switch and PS4 for 304 hours, hours but only maybe like 20 hours on PC. So thanks for that tip, uh, Black Lion.
Can you actually get on the ship here? What's this? I found something. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Either either it is not possible to get back to the ship. Or I I have never come here. This is unbelievable. Why have I missed this path here? Okay, here's the thing. In the, on Switch, it is very hard to move. Very hard to move the view like this. So you almost always just be clicking around. So I've never kind of panned to the right from here. Is there any stuff in here? Okay, this is cool. Can you actually go down? Okay, you can't go downstairs. Uh, it's kind of blocked there, but... Uh, is it just here for looks? They, they have updated the game. With with a lot of they they are having these free when when they when they have added more of the gift gift back things. Is this actually related to one of the one of the new things? There there, there was just a very recent one. The what is it like relics, relics of Reven Re, 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 Re? Oh no, there's something here. This is new. What is this? Where you planning to go, Elf? You've already wrecked the ship and New stuff! I wonder how tough is <laughs> how tough this fight is. Did I save? Okay. I will actually focus on this story part because this is new to me. No. They kill themselves when they steal my spores. I warn them they are volatile. Now I warn you. Tell me where they send the rest or more Magisters die. Ah. Planning an ambush with this scion, were you? Um... If she's a scion like me, I'm bound to protect her. You can store the mystical elven faff. I was there when the death fog fell on your forests. Your hedge magic weren't much use then, eh? Mm. You. I try to give you a chance. More than your divine order give mine. Oh, sir. Her armor! The scion twitches in sudden rage. And her armor uncoils, as if made of living vines. No more chances. I've got a new stick for you to chew on. Okay, at least she's doing she's doing physical attacks. So that's good. Entangled. Okay, it's pretty tricky here. I have to be careful with my corpse explosion. Um, it's a pretty tough fight for me right now. Hmm. It's actually pretty cool to find new stuff here. Yeah, I think this is the new new quest stuff for sure. Um. Did someone say, like, a new quest line with interesting armor? Ah, okay, thanks, Black Nun. So probably, probably that armor, armor she has. I'm thinking of actually jumping up there. Or I could, uh, boil them up with, uh... If I can kill one of them, then I can teleport corpses around and do stuff. Okay, it's actually I have I have so many skills now that it's it's probably beneficial for me to actually go uh, go high ground and use my huntsman.
totally didn't see the dog. She's a little bit too close to them. Like if I if I kill one of them like here, the corpse explosion will also damage her, and obviously right now I want to keep her alive. I could teleport her up here. Deal deal with stuff after this. Um If I get them low enough then I can start using Just using stuff. I think it's still better if I just kill one of them. Although this was the guy who was entangled, so I'm not sure if this was the best the best goal to go go after him. Wait a minute, I can uh Oh man, it would be so good if, if she was she was standing here or something. Should I teleport her around? Will she get angry? This is the this is the nasty part about when there's someone else in the fights. Because I could already use corpse. I could teleport this guy here, use the corpse explosion and do massive damage on all of them, but she's here. So I really can't. Okay, but what what I can do. What I can do is take this guy, teleport, teleport him on this side, do damage on these guys, kill kill him with the teleport. And then maybe. Maybe it is far enough. Kill an enemy using teleportation. Aha! Aha! Not close enough for her, but good enough. I, I have to keep... Apparently I have to keep this locked. I keep on removing the stuff. Sometimes you can do stuff on the, on the higher elevation, like the battle stomp, but sometimes, sometimes not, so it's a little weird. Mm. Oh, let's save the action points. Yeah, this will be pretty close. 32. Okay, not enough to kill her. I think that this uh, lady will be fine here, so we can uh, we can spend the one more turn and leave the corpse there to uh, tank things. Okay, she's yeah, she's vulnerable now. Okay. They are lined up perfectly. They are lined up perfectly, but it also also takes me a little bit of action points to come back. Okay, let me see. Could I? I also want to make the corpse explode. But now I would probably be better off actually starting to... Uh, Starting to control them a bit, so let's come. Okay, I have to use two have to use two action points anyway. So I might as well come here and battle stomp these two. I think the dog can't kill kill her on her on its own. And actually let's do this instead. Because then I can uh, make the corpse explode. Can't find a line where I could could get them all. Wonder if it hits her. This is this is one of the things I don't like. It changes changes from like 
into a lighter color, color when you're actually targeting targeting someone. I don't think that's that's clear enough. That should be that should be changed. There's probably a mod for that or something. It's it's close, close, but can't quite get it. So let's come here, because the dog wouldn't be stunned anyway. I wanted to get distance from the corpse, but uh, I guess that's fine. Okay. Wha what are you doing? <laughs> she almost killed herself. Oh man, these uh, these NPCs are the worst when you are trying to keep them alive. I think I will have to use a, use a scroll on her. can stop me. There is very, very fitting. Can I... Okay, I think I have to take one hit here to uh, get all of them. Or... Surprise, motherfucker! Okay. This one will go first. Knocking down non-allied. True. Eating all enemies. Yeah, I should I should pay attention. That is true. They don't they don't actually get uh, they don't actually get damaged with that. Okay. So as long as as long as we knock these guys out. Fuck. She's not an ally, she's neutral. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, Mutt. I've got a new stick for you to chew on. She's neutral, not green. If she was green, then it would work. Oh, that is true as well. I can teleport the dog up there. Not the worst idea, actually. Good tactics there, Black Nine. I also do like myself going up there for the, for the damage, you know. Could I somehow get her away from that corpse? If I teleport her around, that will do damage and she will be angry. That is actually very smart. Also, would have been smart to actually use the flesh sacrifice first to do a couple of more points damage there, but uh, I take what I can. <laughs> when dogs learn how to use ladders. Your play force will be much harder. Very true. Aww.
tu não. It's one of the hard parts when fighting with these neutral neutral ones that you have to be have to be careful with your with your things. I don't want her to be infected, so I'm using use it on this guy to do damage. It's not a, not an easy fight. And having having her here makes it actually more difficult to me. Trying to uh trying to keep her here as well. I think we can get this one guy out of the picture now. She's fine-ish now. Oh man, I'm like I'm one one hit point off from killing Elvin. Not this this one here. Teleport is coming off cooldown. A lot of the other stuff is coming off cooldown as well. I'll go on this side so I can make the corpse explode. And actually we'll try to kill... Try to kill this one. knocked me down. Okay. I might actually die here. Or at least she will die. Yes. Okay, this is a little tricky. Hey Flacknung, thank you so much for the sub and a follow. Big thanks man. You're you're already helping me helping me here in the playthrough. Big welcome. Thank you so much. Let's damn it. Yeah, this this is not going well. This is a tricky fight. This is a li li really tricky fight. Keeping her alive, that is, with uh, with a single, single one. And I have no physical armor, so uh, I will start to be in trouble here. Shh. 
shocking that is fine okay good that 45 will probably save you nice okay now we now we can now we have this fight I don't think I even need to heal her unless she does some stupid stuff with uh, with the hound. You can't, you can't, spl you can't uh, slip on blood, but you can freeze the blood into ice, and then you can slip. But you can also cr combine your boots with nails, and uh, craft uh, craft boots that uh, that keep you unslipped. Can't let this work. No, she's still damaged. Don't run up. Oh, you dumbass. Oh, this this is this is why I'm playing solo character. <laughs> Although it's a bit of parsi, I would actually control the others. Yeah, she's going to get herself killed with dog. Unbelievable. Uh okay, so let's let's be smart about this. Let's Let's, let's, let's. Let's take our distance. Take the dog. Take the dog here. Uh, take enough distance to uh, not die to the corpse explosion. Just win the fight. The elf murmurs, stroking her armor as if soothing a wild beast. It is incomplete and made, it seems, from the vines themselves. Corpse explosion, the best skill in the game. Why they grow armor from the vines, do you see? To protect me. It is the magisters who destroy, who separate the spores, anger them. Hmm. Armor from vines. How oh, she came here. It's used elf. Yes, you know the ancestor trees, but the spores are more. Yes, oh. tiny frog. It it levels up with int. It because it's physical damage. It levels up with warfare. That's in essence in essence why the necromancer is the most powerful powerful class in the game. In my opinion. Powerful enough to restore our forests, perhaps. And because we have lone wolf for our level, I can try. we already have a lot of intelligence and warfare. They send most of them away, and in wrong hands, Magister hands. She gestures at the entangled corpses, vines still spattering gore onto the deck. <laughs> Restore forests or a Magister killing weapon? Magister killing weapon for my character. No, you speak like a Magister. Oops. These spores are meant for life, not death. The armor is alive. And I sense it wishes to be whole. Perhaps then it truly speaks as the ancestor trees do. I find its spore mates and see. You already do. The armor guides me now. When it is complete, 
Perhaps we walk among the ancestor trees together. Okay, but this this being here actually gives me even more experience here in Fort Snarl Joy than I snakes upward from the than I saw about. After a moment, you realize the gruesome truth. They're not entangling the corpse, but bursting from it. You sense strange magic around these vines. Lean closer. Probably a very smart idea when there's uh, some uh, vines coming on from there. Your mind churns, the imagery too chaotic to bring into focus. The incursion ends, leaving you feeling weak and somehow exposed. Mm. Aragorn with um, as a lone wolf. Well, I did fail it first, but on the second attempt I was able to do it. Corpse explosion damages so much and then uh, just using the knockdowns. Mm. The vines have split the corpse's chest with incredible force. Thin the vines and circle a rough depression. This, this is probably a dumb idea. Something held there was vile before you even registered the cool flesh. The vines lash around your wrist and drag you close. They pulse, tightening mercilessly, and release you, withdrawing sluggishly, as if sated, for now. Hmm. So this this part is new to me. Uh, this was added added in the game recently. Added in the game recently. So I don't really know what to do here. Did she leave or is there some stuff in the journal about this? Four relics of... Yes, this was just added in the game in the last update, wasn't it? Uh, the book contains the location of an altar where death heralds would summon a creature called Duna's Undertaker. Its feathers are used to make armor. Feathers are used to make armor. Ah! I, f I did find that book, didn't I? I've already sold that book. Oops. Well, hopefully that is not important. Seed of power. We come across an elf beset by magisters on a shipwreck. We joined the fights. We defeated magisters, saving the Scion. We found a manifest listing prisoners aboard the shipwreck, including Scion who held strange spores. Scion told us she's trying to create a set of armor from poisonous spores. So we basically have to find this Duna's Undertaker. All right, Gavin is still waiting. Uh, all right, it doesn't necessarily mean doesn't necessarily mean we can do with this here in this island, does it? Wait a minute, what? Oh, right. Was there a foot? Mm, no. Consummated one? I mean here? At least I don't see anything. Ah, right. It it actually interrupt. Oh, right. It interrupted with the. Okay, it's good to it's good to have you guys here. It's probably a smart idea to actually eat that. You curse as the knife lances into your thumb, deflected neatly off one of the rough skin spores you and Thews took from the prisoner. A wet pop behind you. Thews on his knees, his spore cracked and smoking in his hand. Thin sprouts push from beneath his eyelids. 
his nose, his mouth. His screams choked beneath a single vibrant thistle blooming from his throat. You move to help your friend, but stop short. It's the elf woman crouching behind Thews with her chains broken. She spits a phrase, Kamir Doran. And you are choking. The spore boiling in your hand as gas blinds you. You feel something stir in your chest, then shift, then tear. Trigger spores. Lone wolf character, but I have a full team, indeed. Indeed. Okay, so it's probably gave me the gave me the same thing. Hmm. Speak a phrase that caused all nearby contamination spores. Speak a phrase that causes all nearby contamination spores to explode, dealing damage and releasing a poisonous cloud. That's geomancer skill. Interesting. There's a bucket to pick up and use as helmet. True, you can, you can use a, you can use a bucket as a helmet, but it's uh, it reduces your uh, stats a bit. Okay. Um, this this new quest is new to me, so I don't know. I don't know how to proceed with that. But I guess we'll, I guess we will stumble on that later. Let me just let me just read that the book contains the location of an altar. Okay, but it's not showing me that location, so that is kind of telling me. It's kind of telling me that uh, it's actually not uh, not on this island. Okay, that was cool. Uh, the location of the I don't I don't think I have the book anymore. I I didn't notice this. I actually found this book uh, way way in the past. I don't think I have that book anymore because it's it's not this one. This one had uh, information about uh, about uh, Diana. Self is trouble, calls herself Scion. Has some strange spores. Sending free samples back to further research, two to black bits, one to arcs. Giving the remaining two for Alexander. Yeah, this this is definitely stuff that it's happening happening uh, all over the game, not just here. Uh, I have a feeling I want to keep on hold on to this one. Spore. Yeah, I wasn't wasn't paying attention. I picked up the book at some point, but no idea where, and I already sold it. <laughs> Strange spores, better sent them all over the world. Yeah, matches their logic. Wait a minute, is it my first hat? It is my first hat. Nice.
The only thing you don't like is the inventory screen. Uh, yeah. I, I do like that you can organize stuff and you can organize stuff into bags, so it's kind of, it could be worse. But, uh, especially when you play, uh, especially when you play with the four-man party, and you have to, you have to upgrade them and manage everyone's, everyone's inventory and such, it's, uh, I don't know how to improve that, but it could be better for sure. Yeah, it would be kind of in here if you uh, if I'm what what I am doing. I, I didn't really mention it, but what I'm doing is I have the bags, and then I have something related to that bag next to it. So here I have uh, it's behind my head a bit, but I have a bag of keys that I have a key next to, and then I have uh, then I have a bag that I have uh, mortar and cooking pot next to it. This is my ingredients bag. And then I have um, like miscellaneous stuff uh, and scrolls. So I kind of kind of mark the thing, mark the thing with uh, with the item next to it. But yeah, it's uh, it could be it could be better. Okay, let's go let's go deal with Kevin. That was a uh, nice new stuff there. Something something to look forward to, I guess, uh, later on in the game. Uh, I'm not going to do this, but uh, if, if you are really short on cash... Really short on cash, what you can do is... Uh, you can take your... Uh, you can take any... Any uh, any weapon and get this ooze barrel from here or from somewhere else. Teleport it. Teleport it to the center. And then you can create a poisonous poisoned weapons. These are these are valued a little bit more than a normal one. So kind of if you want to min max your profits. Uh I did that a bit when I had a four-man party because the cash is so so low in the beginning of the game. Okay. So what you are supposed to do here is uh take Kevin, teleports Kevin there. Kevin will teleport you there, and then you teleport Kevin to the other side. After that, Kevin actually screws you over and teleports you down here. And that is a way to escape, but because we know what he's up to, we will uh, we will have our own plans. Simply perfect. Now, teleport me to that mossy rock across the gulch, just by the torch. Almost there. Sure. Sure, Kevin. Yeah, I, I played this... I, pl I have played this on Switch. Just uh, about 20 hours on PC. So I, I know the pain of the... Pain of the console interface. Okay. Quite close enough. So what I want to do is teleport, teleport Kevin, Kevin there and follow, follow with the cloak and dagger. And then kill him. Of course, because that's what we do. So this gets the quest done. Even the air smells better here above that pit. Thanks for the help, and good luck getting yourself out. Yeah, so we got... Uh, we got the experience... ...by doing this quest. Uh, what Kevin would have done was... ...he would have just stayed there and not teleport us, so we would have had to climb down and uh, get to the dungeons. But of course we want his stuff, so uh, we will uh, we'll kill him. Oh, 
also. I think, especially if you don't if you don't leave this place, uh, one of the toughest fights early on in the game is here, especially for uh, kind of a low level party. But uh, we'll deal with that later. Um, I might save some of these things. Uh, Kevin has a nice rope. Has a nice rope, but I uh, I think I like my. Uh, But at least I know I can sell that one. I will keep cabins just in case I want that plus one Arturk. Because if I if I get the plus one Arturk to ring, I can actually use the teleports. Um, uh, I can use the uncanny evasion and teleports. I wouldn't mind wouldn't mind using these skills. And I will eventually get Ira two, just for these two, because we don't have the won't have the gloves forever. Uh, but other things we can just sell. Okay, do we go to the dungeon now or... Mm. Well, I guess, I guess I can. Yes, I can. At least to, at least to show. So... As said, if you if you don't teleport there behind Kevin and kill him, this is the only way you can go. Maxwell Court, thank you so much for the follow. So you actually end up in the dungeon. We have already been here because we came came through there and uh, got lockpicks and stuff. And uh, you got a good reason for barging it in your private and got out for you go. You haven't met a particular fella here, have you? Tall, black beard, intense way of looking at you. Punch up for metaphor? Good. Oh, Zillick, much preferred. I don't remember who he's talking about. Okay, do we want to ki do we want to kill the Houndmaster? Do we want to kill the Houndmaster now, or do we need level five for that? We can probably do it now. It's a little bit tough, but we can probably do it. Nobody likes you. Everybody hates you. You're gonna lose. Smile, you fuck. Okay. One of the one of the toughest fights for me here, especially on this level, is the upcoming one. The biggest danger is the fact that the archers in here, they have knocked down arrows. And there's there's four enemies and the Houndmaster summons summons a hound, so there's five of them here. So this might take a couple of attempts. But let's do it. It isn't right. Alright, isn't right to save the entire realm from divine, damned chaos. <laughs> Please. Okay, it's double checking that are these the skills I want. Shekels of Bane might actually be very useful in this. On the other hand, decaying touch it adds damage. If I don't have that, then I might run out of things to do. It's a tough one. How many was it, Del? I think I will. Uh, I think I will try with uh, with the ones I have. Okay. I... Go this on. is a tough fight. That's why you're here, isn't it? It, it isn't. What do right. I want to do with this? Okay, let's let's try right, let's try this. Right let's uh, let's save here. Divine, Let's try getting the Houndmaster up here. Please. Up here and start the fight like this. Because this way I should get a turn before the Houndmaster. Otherwise the Houndmaster summons the dog. But this way we have a chance to control the Houndmaster before he summons the dog. Uh, 
And this archer here is the is the this ranger is the weakest weakest of the bunch. So now if I just do enough damage for to the houndmaster, we already have these two in the control. Uh, this guy needs to run around and uh, do stuff. He might be able to hit me from the lower ground, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. And this archer will take at least one turn or two turns to get close enough to shoot. But what I have to be careful about is my physical armor, because if that runs out, I lose this fight. Because the, uh, especially this archer will knock me down with, with arrows, and if I get knocked down against five opponents, I'm dead. Okay, the infect should be enough to uh, take the houndmaster. Houndmaster out of... Um, out of stuff. Uh, it's probably safer for me to stay here. I'm not block. Uh, what I should have done is actually block the block the ladder. I might be blocking it already, but I'm not sure. Okay, it might actually be better for me to go here. No, it's better. It's better for me to stay where I am. Are you actually kidding me? I can't touch the archer from here. Son of a... Okay, I have to, I have to use a battering ram then. Don't miss. That's fine. Uh, corpse explosion dash. Mm. I can handle the archer alone. If no one else attacks me, I, I won't be knocked down. Okay, wait a minute. Two points. Two points. Ah, I should have taken adrenaline. You have to go get that. Six. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's uh, let's infect the ranger. Let's infect the ranger. Um, Teleport up here. All right, I don't have the teleportation. Yet. This might be might be close enough. I, I would have teleported this guy there, but uh, Okay, it, it is low. It is. I might, I might get the Houndmaster. Ah, easy. One fifteen, nice. Bow, bow, bada, bada. Yes. Easy peasy. Thanks for the thanks for the reset, Ruxana. I'm I'm blocking the blocking the ladder so this guy can't do anything. What is what is problematic is my armor, but that's why I have the shield. Next turn, next turn I'm fine. Exploded corpse here instead of exploding. Just in case this guy actually wants to shoot it. Nice. 
Oh, I actually was not blocking the blocking the ladder. I thought I was blocking the ladder. Did I move? Maybe I moved. Okay, so I'm out of out of physical armor. This guy is potentially a problem. But luckily we can do this. This guy here is uh is still there. So I have to be a little bit careful. Seven, nice. Okay, if against a single opponent, I'm not in that much danger. Not in that much danger, so I think I will save, wait for the next turn to. Uh, before I do stuff. Okay, I think he's a, he actually has a limited amount of the knockdown arrows and he already used one there. But that's good. Thank you so much for continuing that gift sub from Greymolk. Thank you so much, Penny. Cheers. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think they might have uh, one or two per archer, but uh, yeah, he's definitely out now, so... Gotta have this, have this fight already. Just to be safe, I should be able to knock him out without killing, uh, killing uh, Delarus here. <laughs> okay, I. That is so. That is so annoying. And if it, it's easier to manage the hot bar without locking it, but uh, get through that. Of course, I miss. Do I care? Not really. Hey, metal fan. Uh, you missed the early part of this place. Not much. heal you in just a moment. Of course. Of course. There's a boat that but they'll kill you on sight if you <coughs> if these The color wells back into the magister's cheeks, and his wounds knit together into solid flesh. No, but Alvin, this is this is very much a minimax, minimax power play with uh, with solo character. Oh wait, is it gamer? Didn't see you, see you there in the chat before. I. Sorry if I missed I any messages. Work upon me already. There is. You'll meet some associates of mine. Enough to match Alice and Alexander. No, with her, you've given. Okay. With uh, by saving saving this guy, you have a chance to I escape the place. This debt. But also, also very much later in the game, saving him is worth. I think like fifty thousand experience. A lot of experience towards the end of the game. Critical chance? That's not bad. 
It's not bad. Yes. Better to have uh, a belt than no belts. Hey, Black Dun, thank you so much for gifting us up. First time, first gift from you. Thank you so much. That is that is so nice of you, Big Black Nun. You uh, you came, you came to the stream, you subbed, you followed, you helped me in the game, you give the sub. Man, you are, you sir are awesome. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, that's well, well. Well deserved uh, applause. Okay, was there something else here? All right, you get a little bit of experience if you go to go to here. Because this is a little bit of a hidden area, I guess, and uh, something here. I could almost swear there was a. Uh, ah, there it is. A pendant. Pendant we can use later, but we uh, we have our source scholar, so I think it's I think it's long due to actually get rid of that next. So let's do that. Do I need to do anything here right now? I could go take care of the slugs. Yeah, I might as well do that. While I'm here. So basically you have a, you have a lot of ways like coming through there, through the through the statue, coming from the outside from Kevin, you can come from the other side, through the fire slugs, come here, and if eventually you want to come here, either do this quest or otherwise just get in get in here, uh, then uh, deal with a couple of magisters and escape. That's one of the escape paths. I showed you the one one before where you can just sneak out of the place. That's probably the easiest one. Also, right there where I fought Gavin, teleporting to the other side. Uh, you can escape from there, but there's a really tough fight there if, if you go through that. Uh, okay, how do we deal with this guy? Let's do this. Let's use Flesh Sacrifice. Let's use Teleportation. Take the big guy. Drop him here. Take the big guy. Drop him here. <laughs> also, could do the other way around. Oh, I, I clicked too. I was too slow with my click. Too slow with my click. Yeah, are you close enough? Actually, I'm not sure if you're close enough, but I will try. Okay, you were. I did not acro him with my first uh, teleport. Oh, that's an easy 1200. Do you hear that? Something's up ahead. <laughs> yeah, something something was up ahead. Oh, not a pedal stomp. Uh don't need don't need don't need it's ball. Oh, that was not my plan. Uh, those guys are so conveniently placed there.
They're getting... They're getting to the level where I... I... I do need to start thinking about that evil... Evil necromancer laugh. We are... They're getting, getting to that, uh, that level of power already. <laughs> no, that's not good. Have to be, have to do better than that. That's not, uh, not evil enough. Essences are very useful. Oh, I didn't, I don't, didn't remember that. That is actually very cool. It stacks, stacks items automatically into the bag where you have the stuff instead of putting the one-offs, one-offs outside the bag. That is cool. You need a skeletal redeem for the evil laugh. Yeah, we have to have to do something like that for sure. The bizarre creature before you seems to be good. Challenge accepted. Light, so am I. Very much looking forward to uh, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> okay. Before I before I completely forget about Wittermore. What a shame. All you need is a strong let's uh, let's go do stuff in here. Also, the soldier stands to attention. Let's double check that. Uh, I don't think I will be using the using any of the actual warfare skills. Yeah, I don't think I'd. Don't think I do. As you say, you are quite safe. I am so. Thank you for your help with that thug. Oh, she bows. I hear of no. In this case, it gives weight. But I am not here. Thank you. I magic you. You're dead. Yeah, it might uh, the essence might actually come in, come in handy. So, got you. I got you. You're cheating. In a moment, didn't you give me? Oh, she she gave me a head. <laughs> she gave me a head, so of course I eat it. It gives me first aid skill. It's good to be elf. Okay, uh, Amira, Amira here is the one who I saved from the cage. Do not forget what I. I does not devote. I never all of. And uh, 
Sahela here is a pretty important character. One friend brings another home. Thank you. Thank you, my I see your she's quick. I do not Okay, we're not Aratirk, that's nice. Uh will I actually take that so that I, I can actually use the yes I will. That's actually pretty good. To get a bit uh, to get a bit cabin's armor, this gives me plus two. This gives me plus two, so I can actually use the actual teleportation skill, and if I want, I can use the uncanny evasion. I do like the Huntsman, but I think overall this this uh, this giving me the Arturk now right now is uh, is better. Uh, it gives me. Uh, Gives me a chance to uh, to do those. This is a really good skill. Okay, let's let's go and deal with Peter more, so we don't forget. I also like uh, I really like how Kevin's uh, armor looks like. It's really nice. Okay, so. Wittermore sent us to uh, get uh, get his soul. Um, he won't be too happy if we uh, if we don't 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 deal with him. So what you can actually what you can actually do? What you can actually do is get in fights with him and then destroy it, and that that nets you the maximum experience. You, you have. Oh, bless you, bless. What? You will not walk away from me with that jar in your hand. So, you, you get experience not. for the quest that we, you would get otherwise uh, anyway. And then what you can do is uh, take the take the jewel jar out and uh, kill it here. Killing him, getting additional sixteen hundred. Again, just to minimax. This this plus one memory is actually better for me than the critical chance. Yeah, because it gives me one additional spell, and uh, it either gives me a chance to uh, actually get the shackles, uh, take uncanny evasion for safety, or take a pre-buff pre spell with a peace of mind. All of these, uh, all of these valid options. So let's go with that. Uh, un unless you have some really special in mind, getting a source point from that, I don't think it's worth it. At this stage of the game. I think that's the that's the maximized maximized way you do. So you go there, pick and fight, but then still actually leave him at peace. So it's actually kind of a nice thing to do. We just want to want to see what's happening. Okay, here's a secret location. 300 experience. So, the kid who I didn't play hide and seek with, that would have would have revealed with the wounds position. This is his uh, his uh, playground, I guess. Uh, that I don't know. Black Nun, that's could you actually get the source color now, or do you have to? Do you can you get the source now, or do you have to get the color out? I don't know about that. In all honesty, I have never. 
I've never actually consumed the source point from that, I think. Okay, I'm starting to starting to pile up a lot of stuff, so I have to go and have to go and sell. I have a memory that antlers antlers were useful for some some crafting. Okay, here's a here's a classic classic. Uh, it's a trap situation, but you can uh, if you know that uh, if you know that the frogs are coming. What you can do is uh, sneak over to whatever invisible line there is to uh, actually trigger them. Oh, hey, Iridium! Good to have you here, man. Looks, yeah, looks like your Witcher free inventory here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now if I only remember where, to, where they actually trigger. Oh, there they go. So if you are here when the frogs come, they don't immediately start in the fight because none of them actually sees you. Making this fight a little bit easier. So you're not you're not in combat yet, so you can do stuff. Do stuff like um, teleporting someone next to that corpse and making them explode, for example. Uh, okay, how do I how do I deal with this? I guess I will save the teleport until until I actually need it. Yeah, let's uh, let's save that. Save that and control this guy with uh, with knockdowns. Do have to go. Oh, I'm almost. Oh, I can actually kill him. Interesting. Hello. to deal with you guys. Get a kill. Surprised. Let's go here to bait. Bait uh, electric one. I am I am playing playing as an elf elf who will who will murder everyone and she's in the process of uh, developing her evil necromancer laugh so I'm basically playing as um, how how would I put it playing as as um, Totally minimaxed, minimaxed uh, necromancer who will just murder everyone for experience. She has law protector.
ribbit. Sometimes stomp works even if even if you are uh, on a lower level, but sometimes sometimes not. Oh, you are stunned. You are stunned as well. Okay, GG frogs. I think we will actually hit level 5. Level 5 from the arena fights. Another secret. Secret treasure. Restoration scroll is actually pretty good. We have two now. It's good. You thought it was a mimic? <laughs> Paranoid. Too much, uh, too much Dark Souls, too much, uh, too much Grimwalk. Grimrock. Copinator, yes, I am, I am pretty hyped for Baldur's Gate 3. The, the original plan for this 24-hour stream was to try Try out Baldur's Gate 3, but then they postponed it. So we are playing Divinity. It is good. The I frogs are gone. The frogs are gone. The children shall be safer. I'll stab you right in the eye. Okay. Before I forget, let's get adrenaline. Completely forgot to buy it. Still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stalk, if you're so inclined. Do we want something else? Chloroform maybe, if we run into an enemy who don't have any magic armor to begin with, that could be useful, but uh, I doubt it. No, not gold. Actually, yes, gold. It's better for me to actually pay you with gold, and then go, uh, go sell to Nebora. Need something in the kitchen, do you? <laughs> Children will be safe. I will stab you right into the eye. <laughs> I, I totally missed that, but yeah, that was a good time. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow with a grease blackened hand. Level level four ring was summoning. Again, still no luck with uh, with the rings. Nothing useful for Nebora. Okay, that's a lot of crap. A lot of crap I have collected. Anything from her? No, we don't. Yeah, we have. We pretty much covered already as far as money goes. We don't. We don't need to even loot that much anymore. So we are. We are good. Okay, let's deal with these cards here. With uh, with the dog and these guys. What you can do here is. Uh, I will pick that. So what you can do is go up there. 
helped uh, help the fight a bit. And because I killed this guy here already, I don't have anything anything to worry. Uh, by going up there, I will not have to worry about the dog and uh, dealing with these guys a little bit easier as well. There's also added bonus, which is pretty evil. It's actually pretty evil. Uh, if I if I engage in the combat when Mona is out of her out of her tent, she will actually join the fight and probably die to the dog, so that I can I can get her necromancy books and money. That's that's not. That's is that is that good enough for the evil necromancer laugh? If that actually happens, that's that's probably the most evil thing I will do here. Because she's my friend, she will join. Okay, let's fight. Oh, actually, she's scared now. She might join the fight if I'm close enough, because, uh... Did I give her money? She might join the fight, I'm not sure. Let's see. Sometimes she joins, but uh, yeah, that's that's truly evil. That is truly evil if that happens. Okay, what I could actually do is take this guy's corpse. I want to do that. Or do I just want to, uh... Yeah, let's do this. And if we take a little bit step back, so that they can't shoot me. Okay, right here, Mona might join. I think uh, maybe because I stole from her, she's not my friend anymore. She's my friend because she's green. I've had her join this fight, but for some reason she's scared now. Not sure why. Ooh, that's good damage. When you are playing as a solo character, you have to do stuff like this, like sometimes go into hiding or something, something similar. Let's see if we can get the dog to move around in a way that Mona actually joins the fight. I want, I want, uh, I want the most evil thing to happen. No, she's not joining. Ah, there she goes. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Mona! <laughs> She's so dead.
Oh, she might actually survive. No, no, she won't. She won't survive. Let's just, let's just wait. Let's just wait. <laughs> that is... That is so bad! I feel so bad! Ooh. No, I actually won't. Don't. I feel good. Do you know what's also evil? I will actually, actually make her corpse, corpse explode to do some damage on this dog. This. Do it! Do it! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! Come on! Do it now! Kill me! Well, let's... Let's... Let's pretend that we actually... We actually let Mona out of her misery, because she was sick. But yeah, I, I agree that that laugh is already pretty good. But yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, the the evil evil necromancer laughter like uh, it has to come naturally. Like you can't, uh, you can't like fake it. So I think in that moment I, uh, I showed my true colors that I'm actually, actually an evil guy because that was uh, that was good and honest laughter. Uh, I like my initiative boots. Uh, Armor frost scroll is amazing. What need those? <laughs> okay, almost level five. Almost level five. So what is the, what is our next fight? You know what? Let's um. Let's go deal with the dogs. Level one evil laugh. Okay, let's hear it. Oh no! Wait a minute. Did you actually cliff the? Did you cliff the earlier one? Oh yeah, that was that was not good. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that is that is level that is level one. Thank you so much, Monagas, for those clips. Very well named. Okay, let's let's see the level two. Ah, there she goes. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's perfect. That is so good. I will totally edit those together somehow. Very nice. Let's see. Let's see if we uh, if we get level three at some point. That was, that was already pretty damn good, but let's let's see if we can get uh, get level three. Holy hellhounds! Those dogs sound out for blood. <laughs> because we have the squeaky squeaky ball uh, from um, the hounds perk up and from the hound master. The, the hound grabs the they are peaceful, and uh, because I got the quest to find Emmy. Emmy is here, one of these dogs. Uh, we get the experience right away. And that puts me to level 5! Before even leaving this place. Okay. I think on level 5, what I want to do is... Uh, one thing is that uh, on, on higher difficult, on higher levels, the shields, they start to require a little bit of constitution. Little bit of constitution, so uh, I could pick up one one extra point in constitution, so that I don't lose the shield when I use the flesh sacrifice. It also gives me a little bit of hit points, but uh, at least one point in intelligence. And um, we are already super powerful for the, for level five because uh, of the lone wolf. Uh, I think I will go with the constitution. 
Because uh, I think I will want to keep on using shields. Uh, the bouncing shield is a good, good damage. Uh, I could boost the wits for initiative. That is actually an option. You know what? I will. I will actually this time. Normally, I would take a fourteen constitution here to keep on using shields, even with uh, even with the flesh sacrifice. But I, I think I like the fourteen ish initiative and a uh, little bit of extra critical chance. Even that two uh, percent is not that not that relevant right now. But yeah, I think I, I think I like that. Uh, normally, I would just go for the in just max out intelligence before I start taking witch. But I, uh, I like to have the fourteen fourteen ish initiative there. Okay, let's deal with these dogs. Uh, the strength, strength only. This is this is where it gets tricky. Uh, strength, strength boost, boosts strength based attacks. Warfare boosts physical attacks. So strength does nothing, nothing to me. I'm only using the battle storm and battering ram for the knockdowns, not the damage. Uh, so uh, I won't be getting any strength. Uh, I think I will just boost Warfare here, because I, I have the Pyro, I have the Scoundrel. I'm not going to use Polymorph, I'm not going to use the Invisibility. So yeah, I think I just boost my damage. Yeah. From completely min-maxing point of view, uh... This witch point should instead be putting intelligence or maybe constitution for the shield. On intelligence it would give me most damage at this stage. Okay, Docos. Uh, Emmy is the strongest one. So let's take her. There to start the fight. And then could we potentially maybe Oh this is cool, I, I can actually battle storm from here. It's cool. Hey Storm, popping by to say hello, joining in the evening. Good to have you here, man. You woke up to the evil laugh. I uh, I did uh, I did the evil deed. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Yeah, I, uh, I made a I made a friend friend from one of the merchants, and I lured her into a fight where I knew where I knew she would die. So yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was it, I guess. Oh man, I okay. Can I go there? Can I go there? Yes, I can. That's a decent damage. 74 on infects. That is pretty good. Mm. I 
think that will touch me. Okay, that, that was that was not my intention, but now that that's happened. One hundred and eighteen, are you kidding me? Corpse explosion is decent. Decent decently alright. Luckily, they don't have a... Uh... Nope, oh, let's put it there. Luckily, they don't have um, knockdowns here, these guys. Forty on the... Forty on the mosquitoes. Chaotic evil run, yes. This is the one. So that's the dogs. I think they didn't have anything useful. I don't even know why I'm looting them. Oh, they do have the ball. Not that that does anything. Okay, I think I will, and again, in order to, uh... You could eat these for some backstory, but uh, not, not backstory, but something, but uh, not that much. I think I will maximize my experience again by uh, using using Ifan one more time. So we will take Ifan with the pet pal and talk, talk to that one dog in the cage. So this is the more or less the only time where I make an ex... Exception from the solo, solo part, and I, about teaming up. I didn't have to do this. I didn't have to do this, I could get to level 6 before I fight Dallas, even without this. He grins. Right, you are. But uh, just kind of to have a complete for joy. And I don't want to take pet spell for myself, so... Um... I think this gives me like 800 experience. So let's see, let's see when I when I eventually hit level six, kind of uh, would I have hit it? Uh, will I hit it faster because of this, or and does it actually make a difference? So you get 800 experience by coming here, which is which is already the first step. But then uh, with the pet pal, you can uh, you can convince this dog to uh, you let me free. convince this dog to uh, what if I hurt to leave and get what even more experience. I hurt you. They fed me horrible things. I'm, I'm a low growl. This is please just put me down. No, but we are practical evil, because not putting him down actually gives more experience. So I won't be part of Won't be part of this. It's suicide. I won't be party to this. It's suicide. No, no, no. And this is why I leveled up finesse on Ivan quickly to uh, succeed in this. Maybe. Fourteen hundred experience. So, broken old dog like me? that 1400 experience is the extra part. Everything else you can get without pet spell. I making good progress already now. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? His eyebrows shoot up. Can't say I'm not sorry. Good luck out there. I think, I think overall, Adrenaline is actually better for me. It 
gives me a boost when I when I need to do a single turn. A lot of stuff single turn. Adrenaline gives me a chance to do that. Um, a little bit more burst damage. Even that piece of mine is really nice as a pre-buff, but I will probably get that later. Um, the crossbow here is worth something. And all the all the all the stuff you pick up, like you find, uh, some of them are some of them are set set levels. Some of them are dynamic, so they uh, they level up with you. Basically, it makes a little bit difference when you do a quest when you pick up stuff. Okay, let's take care of the skelly jellies. That are actually not jellies in this game. Uh, before I do that, let me uh, let me save the game just in case I something nasty happens. And I will I will swap to a swap to a standing desk. Okay, if something if you hear hear weird sounds. Something, something like glass breaking, you can laugh. Okay, that's good. I figured... Figured that since I'm, since I'll be doing, uh... 24 hours of this, I, uh, I might have, uh, might as well be, uh... You like you like my uh, like my paint paint splash shirt. Okay, because so I'll be I'll be doing this uh, so much. I usually during like normal work day when I work eight hours eight hours. If I work from home and I we have a motorized desk desk at the office as, uh, office as well. I like to uh, I like to stand at least one hour. What? Why did my light go out? Hm. Why did only one light go out? Okay, there, there might be might be some some electrical issues there. Let's see if we get fire from that. Okay, so dealing dealing with these jars here, interesting things happen. If I could remember what was the what was the right right way to do this. What I actually should have done is actually put put nails in my boots before I do this. You know what? Let's let's do this in different order. That's not the best order for that. Oh, it saves here. Okay, just a moment. I, I could I could go from here. It's not a, not a big deal. But just for uh, kind of efficiency's sake, what you can do here, what you can do is uh, you can take your uh, you can take your boots, whatever boots you have, and. Uh, Take the boots and nails, and what you will get is uh, immunity to slipping. So after this, you will never ever slip on ice, because you have 
nails in the bottom of your boots. Okay, one of one of these actually summons the guys here, which is kind of what I wanted. So now what I can do is uh, I can break this, and I'm I'm in I'm in I'm immune to the slipping. Yeah. So now these guys come here, and as as additional safety for myself, they they might slip on this ice. There's also a guy here which is super tricky to target, uh, unless you actually go up there. So I might try to do that, let's see. What I could also do is hide here. I think this guy was... Uh, this guy might have been a mage, I'm not sure. These guys, these guys are pretty tough. Like, not like super tough tough. Maybe if I go like there... Yeah, that should be enough. <laughs> make, make sure to put the nails right away around. Yeah. Teleport them there. 44 damage. 44 damage from... Uh, teleport along. Twenty-four hour stream, give me into sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I will need that as well. Interestingly, this is also cool. When you use something like a paddle storm on uh, ice, ice created it actually creates this cone here. This is pretty cool. One uh, because I'm using, a, I'm having a necromancer here alone. I don't have any elemental magic. One of the coolest things about this game, what I talked about in the beginning, like you can, for example, use rain to make a wet surface, and then you, if you use ice magic on that, it will freeze. Uh, you can, you can have the water there. You can use a fire spell. It actually evaporates into a into a steam, and then you can do something with the steam, like make that poisonous or make the make the steam explode. So there's a lot of that environmental stuff, which is pretty cool in the magic side of things. Yeah, with the, with the blood, blood you can also do, also do some cool stuff. Events invisible. I wonder how I, how much damage I do with the basic attack now. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's not good enough, but it's pretty good. So what I can actually do is uh, teleport somewhere and then uh, make that corp corpse explode to kill that guy. One hundred and thirty. Decent. This guy went invisible but stayed there. So you can you can you can sneak in fights, but usually us usually it's a little tricky to do. But here, for example, if I delay a turn, he doesn't see me because I'm sneaking. I now have eight eight action points for this turn and another turn after this. So yeah, he's dead. I could also wait for one more turn to actually get the corpse explosion, but I don't even think I need that. That actually wasted reaction point now that I did that did that there, but uh, okay, that's the 
That's the bullshit part about these upper parts. It's still so tricky sometimes to actually actually get uh, any con connection. Let's just put him down there. Yeah, with the, with the height height bonuses, I can uh, I can one shot like uh, how much is that? One hundred and eighty hit points. If I could actually get my, yeah, fine. If I could actually get my um, shield to hit him. Yeah, I think kind of what I what I'm doing in this playthrough with solo necromancer, it's uh, kind of uh, it doesn't give you the full picture of this game. Actually, has really that well. I guess I'm using kind of tactics here, but when you actually have the four man party, the, the combat is really good. I especially liked uh, especially liked. Um, the env environmental stuff in this. There is a way to not initiate this fight. I think you need to stand like there instead of where I am. So you can uh, you can avoid this fight. Okay, how do we do this? How do we do this? Yeah, you can. Yeah, that's that's true. You can uh, destroy the urn from a distance. Does remind me. Oh, there was that guy. Totally forgot. Okay, this is actually actually the trickier of these fights. But uh, undead undead are healed with poison. So uh, one cool thing when you're having a four-man party is do undead party. So then you can heal yourself with poison arrows and stuff while the enemies usually take damage. Yeah, this guy is a little tricky. I might have, might have made a minor mistake here by forgetting him that he was around. Yeah, okay, still have, uh, still have enough. Let's, let's get the. Get those up a bit. What I could have done is actually move these corpses around. That could have helped as well. Like before, I I could have teleported these corpses around, but uh, kind of forgot to do that kind of preparation. Uh, I will go next to this guy because uh, he will probably try to run away as uh, as an archer. Also, as the as the ice melted or melted, uh, the ice became water, and him using uh, 
shocking shocking touch or whatever that was it actually electrified the whole water and the blood so i find i find these things pretty cool in this okay if i could kill one of them this could be pretty damn good but if i can't then this sucks It's close, but it's not enough. Unless I use... Unless I use something. Might, might not be able to do that. It's close. Restoration spell. Yeah, that's get that gets done. No, not not the restoration spell, but not the restoration scroll, but spell. No, misclick. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Perfect tactics ruined. Ruined by uh. What is what is better? You you should change into this tactical view when targeting things. So what I did there was I had my mouse over this guy. Or I thought I had the mouse over that guy, but when I when I go down like this, my my uh, sword is still on the guy behind, but it's actually highlighting the guy uh, in front of that. So there, there's a little things like that in this game. Okay, okay. Let's do that again. With a scroll. It's only costed me one scroll, so it's not a, not a big deal, but uh, still. What I could have done instead using the scroll would have been to create a corpse from here. Actually, I could have done that. Done. Never mind. Okay, so that's basically costed me one scroll. That's it. Um, and possibly some damage on this guy. Okay, I think I can live uh, whatever he has for me. So I can just save my action points. Uh, when you. When you used adrenaline, which I did, on the next turn you have less action points, so it's kind of a kind of an extra turn there. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I didn't see that. When, when you have, when you have, when you are doing projectiles, which is my shield is, there's actually a line where they fly, so I actually threw my shield to the edge there. It was saying that the path is blocked, but I missed the information. Mm, I can probably kill him. Well, at least I'm safe. Okay, it's 40, 47 to 41 at the moment. Let's just do this then. This is a pretty fun fight. I, li I like this fight. So not, uh, not the easiest to deal with these... Uh, 
Kelly Chase. Solasta. Can you, uh, if you don't mind, Storm, can you can you link the star the Solasta into like the suggestions channel or something in Discord, so I don't forget? Sounds sounds pretty interesting. But yeah, as uh, as I said already. As I said already a couple of times, uh, the original plan here was actually to play Baldur's Gate 3 instead of this. How much strength do I need? I don't have any potions for them. I don't think there was any too exciting loot in here. Okay, so if you have a peace of mind, peace of mind which boosts your wits, uh, or you or you otherwise otherwise have fifteen wits, you can actually do this part Ooh, here early on. You notice a deep fissure beneath a statue because you only notice this thing if you have witch fifteen. The stone there is a curious a chunk of stone fall. So you uh, you get these uh, these pants for uh, pants here, which which can help you. And they are also also used for uh, for a quest. remember if I think this this did not do uh, any additional skelly jellies oh <laughs> did that <laughs> interestingly the trap is here not in the jar well of course it is okay what next what next I think what I will do is uh, I will have a uh, I will have a short break, so we have the biggest fights ahead of us. We have the we have the arena fight, we have the Griff Gang fight, we have Niles, we have the we have the big Magister fight with the Paladin, we have the fight in the harbor. All all those all those cool things. And then finally finally we'll kill Dallas. Well not kill Dallas, but uh, deal with Dallas. Like you wanted. Uh, but yeah, I think the next thing I will do is uh, deal with the arena. That's one way to get out of my collar, because after that Nebora will get my collar off. Um, after that we can kill this one... Um, one Magister. Then probably... Then probably the fight in here. With uh, with the Grandmaster Man, then maybe Niles. Niles can sometimes be a little tricky. I think I will do the fight, this fight here last, and then at very last, do the Harbor fights. But yeah, if uh, if they do Baldur's Gate three in in any way, shape, or form similar to, to what they did with this game. Uh, I didn't play it myself on the early access, but basically the early access was this area. So the starter area where there's a lot to do, you get the feel of the game, but you don't like progress to the next stage of the game uh, yet. So I'm going to expect that Baldur's Gate 3 does the same. So you you basically have access to the, like one one quarter of the game, which on the later playthroughs, you might even just run through, because it is a starter area. For example, this area, I don't have to spend 10 hours here like I'm doing. I could just escape. And uh, proceed. But, I will... Um, I will have a short break. 
We will have a short break and I'll continue after that. We have all those big fights after that. 